Do you remember when we used to walk down here and all the neighbors used to stare at us and we used to be mm -hmm. and we would just be one day. way. They would look at us like we were circus freaks, but you could tell they enjoyed it. The minute I got off on 14th Street, you could hear the clickety clack of the hills. The life, the light, the shadows. We called 14th Street the straw, and that was our turf. Some people choose sex work because they want to. Being a trans woman in the 80s, a lot of us did not have a choice. People were not hiring people that looked like me. Trans life in general, it was difficult. I wanted to make people understand the reality of our lives through storytelling. The one issue today that obsesses New Yorkers, crime. The trannies were out on the street 24-7. It was really a very bad situation. I mean, they think I'm out here to murder people instead of have sex with them for money. We don't know who's who. You know, everybody's a client. I actually gave fellatio to a man who was a cop. And after I was done doing his deed, he arrested me. Whether it was from the police, whether John, there was a lot of violence. I almost got killed by a John who dragged me for half a block in his car. We were on the front line with the gay and lesbian community, but you're not doing anything to help me from getting attacked. We knew we were freaks to them. I can't even believe it. It's like the things we had to do. The trans community has been in survival mode forever. It's important that we all get an opportunity to thrive. We fought to be where we are. The system never gave us resources. We created the resources. We have always been last. That's not gonna happen anymore. You owe it to every trans woman before you and everyone after you to keep pushing. We were pushed out of the neighborhood years ago. I was determined to make a film about the stroll before we're gone. Making TikToks? No. No, no we're talking about our lives out here before this became this. I remember that. Oh! <laughs> he said, I remember that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> What's your name? 